Welcome back to art. We have been learning about seven elements of art. The elements of art are like the ingredients for making an artwork, which include line, shape, form, space, value, texture, and color. Today, let's focus on the element of form. Before we begin, we need to say our mantra. You ready? I'm ready. I am an artist. I am an artist. I am creative. I am creative. I make mistakes. I make mistakes. But mistakes are great. But mistakes are great. Because they help us learn. Because they help us learn. Let's be inspired by the form of a pumpkin. Can you create a three-dimensional looking pumpkin? We're going to be using some curved kind of lines. You can either start with the edge of the pumpkin and curve down like a big letter C and a backwards letter C. And then I made a little C inside of the C and I keep doing that. Now I'm inspired by the picture of the pumpkin in the upper left. And so I'm trying to look at it and draw from observation. That's when you're observing something. And that's what artists love to do is look at things when they're drawing. Now I filled in with the rest of the lines and then I did the bottom part. And I'm starting to put into the stem, which after I drew that stem, my stem looks really tiny and that stem looks a lot bigger. So I maybe would have fixed that with my pencil. Now there's another way to draw a pumpkin and that is by getting the shape first. You could start by drawing a circle or an oval or whatever shape the pumpkin is first. And I'm just going around and around that sketching. And then I'm gonna draw where I wanna put the stem. The stem would not be right at the top, but it would be inside of the circle. Then I'm drawing the letter C and curving lines coming out from that stem spot even behind, and I'm gonna draw my stem. The stem can fit right from the top of that shadow, and this time I drew it a little bit bigger. Now it's time to add some value. Last week we talked about the word value, and I'm going to color the pumpkin from dark on the bottom, because that's where the least amount of light is going to be, and then I'm gonna color medium in the middle, and then I'm gonna color very light at the top. Now you could do this with three different colored oranges. I think I'm using a red orange, and then I'm gonna use orange, and then a yellow orange. Or you can do it with one color crayon. So dark at the bottom, medium color in the middle, and then really light at the top. And notice how I'm curving when I'm coloring. I'm trying to curve as if I'm coloring the actual shape of something that would have form or that is three-dimensional. I'm going to use a brown crayon to color in and add a shadow, and that really helps my pumpkin have more form. It's gonna make it look more three-dimensional when I go on top of the lines. Then I'm gonna add a background. I'm gonna make it look like it's sitting on a table, and I'm gonna give it a shadow underneath the pumpkin. And when I give that shadow, I try to curve it as if it's sitting on a circle or sitting on an oval. So I'm coloring in now the bottom where it's sitting, and I'm gonna add a background. And 
another choice would be to color with one color crayon your entire pumpkin. And using one color crayon, start at the bottom, dark, then color medium, and then color really soft. Now, if you would like to, you could add a face to your pumpkin, which would turn it into a jack-o'-lantern. Now, that is an artistic choice. It's something that you could choose to do, but do not have to do. If you'd like to turn your pumpkin, you can use a black crayon and then draw a face on it to turn it into a jack-o'-lantern.